All right, let's see how autofocus works. Perfect, autofocus is on. So, let's talk about log footage. We have a nice image we captured. It's flat, it's desaturated. A lot of people struggle with how to get into a nice color grade with it. Uh, LUTs are the solution for a lot of people. I don't personally use LUTs. I use some of the film LUTs in DaVinci Resolve. But I wanted to show you a way that I've found that's pretty interesting. Um, some of you may already be doing this, and maybe I'm crazy for thinking that people don't know about it, but it's using the dehaze tool in DaVinci Resolve. Now, normally in photography, dehaze adds this super contrast. It literally dehazes, takes the haze out. It's a certain type of contrast. But I found it's really useful in DaVinci Resolve in a node when you're working with your log footage. So I'm gonna walk you through the steps multiple times, over and over again. There won't be a way where you don't understand how I'm doing this. Now I'm gonna show you a bunch of examples using different cameras, V-Log, S-Log, B-Raw, flat black magic color picture style. All right, here is our setup. We have black magic raw footage shot in the BMPC 6K. We have some S-Log 3 footage shot on the A7R 3 And finally, some GH5 footage shot in V-Log L or light. So I didn't change anything in the RAW tab for Blackmagic RAW. I left it alone. I would change it normally, but let's just, for the sake of this video, leave it flat. So here we go. Three nodes. You're gonna add the dehaze tool. You can see it here in Resolve Color. Pop it right on there. You can see what it does already. It adds a little bit of color, a lot of color, I mean. And then we go into the contrast and we pop it just to extreme can be pretty extreme. You can always adjust it out. We add some shadow information, pull the highlights down a little. That looks good. Now we go to our last node and we pull down that black level. See the bottom there, how it's kissing the zero? Boom, that's right where we want it. Now we can go back here, turn it on and off. You can see everything on and off. Okay, we can adjust a few more things here. So on the first node, let's change it a little warmer. That looks better, yep. Okay, so let's go on to the next one. Three nodes, add dehaze onto the second, go to the first node, add some contrast. Now this is a cool tool, the pivot. Pulling the pivot down adjusts the, the curve that you're creating with the contrast. You can really, if you're exposing to the right, this is gonna help a lot. Boom, right there, that looks like a good level. Pull the lift down a little bit, gain a little bit down. You can pull some highlights down. I like to keep things under like 896, 768 level, you can see there. We pull the lift down on the last node. Then we can go back to the first node and adjust the pivot a little bit more, bring it back up. Everything is adjustable. I know this is moving fast, but we're gonna do this a hundred times here. You'll get it, you'll definitely get it by the end. Cool, that's a good starting spot. It's pretty contrasty and pretty saturated. We can also adjust anything to your preference. I like contrast and saturation. Here it is on and off. That looks nice. Okay, another scene in India. This is a crazy market. Dehaze on the second node. Boom, look at what it does instantly. Contrast on the first node. See, we're stretching out that. Look at the histogram there, stretching it right out. Now we can adjust our highlights down under 896, push our shadow up until it doesn't look too crunchy. Then we fine tune our black level down to zero. Okay, now we can go back to that first node if we want. Look at the black level there. All right, it may be a little extreme, but we can always adjust things out. We can, it's really a lot, doing it this way, it gives you a lot of flexibility to, to change the look to your personal preference. Okay, now we're in some S-log footage. Dehaze on the second node, boom, look at that. Nice sunset, let's add some contrast. See that, and now we're gonna lower the pivot just to a nice level. Now we can adjust our shadows and highlights down to give a nice feeling. Third node, bringing the zero IRE down. Perfect, look at that. Let's warm it up a little bit, give it more sunset feel. And that looks great. I mean, 8-bit footage, it has all the information in the S-Log if you don't push it too far. All right, Posty, this was a fun shoot. He was a cool dude. All right, so let's add let's get a nice freeze frame there. Three nodes, dehaze on the second. Okay, I underexposed this a little bit on accident, probably nervous. Let's open up the contrast a little bit on that. Raise the midtones, raise some gain up, just popping up there. Bring the lift down. Okay, now we go to our back end and lower the zero 
on the third node there. Let's warm it up a little bit. Excellent. And you can adjust skin tones from here. But that looks good. That's a great starting point. I think that's the point of this is that we can get to a great starting point pretty fast. You can see it on and off here. Yeah, I mean, that looks great. I wouldn't be opposed to that. All right. Ah, south of France. Three nodes. D. Hayes, second. All right. Looks good. Go into contrast. Open up the contrast. Lowering the pivot just a little bit. See that? Look at our, you can see the histogram. We're just pulling things into a nice zone. Then we can adjust with shadow and highlight. Look at that. That looks nice. Warming it up a bit. Now we just bring down our black level to zero. Just kissing the zero there. And that looks great. That's a nice starting point. And you can always desaturate a little more if you feel it's too much. All right. More south of France. Dehaze. Perfect. Okay. So my white balance is definitely off on this, but let's pop the contrast. That looks nice. Bring down some of the cloud level there. It's a nice hazy day. Bring up the shadows to give it more detail. Warm it up. Now we're looking like what it looked like. Perfect. And now let's bring the black level down on the third node. Excellent. That looks pretty nice. That one was pretty easy. Marseille. Gotta go to Marseille. It's a cool town. This is making me just jealous of all the traveling I used to do. All right. Vlog. Dehaze, second node. Contrast up, popping to see how it spreads in the histogram. We're getting a nice even level. Bringing down the highlight level, up the shadow level, warming it up, lowering the zero. I know it's moving fast, but I think you'll get it by the time you see all of these. You'll really be able to knock this out quickly. Yeah, look at that. Nice pop. All right, here's Oregon. So this is a nice scene. There's lots of contrast, color contrast between yellow and blue. Adding the contrast. You can see how simple the histogram is on this. Perfect. Pulling the highlights, uh, pivot down, I mean. That's nice. Let's bring some shadow information up. So I used a polarizer on this. You can see the sky is a little uneven, but we can work through that. You could adjust that later. But look at that. I mean, that looks nice. We're in a nice level. May need a little more color adjustment, but... I think it, that was a quick way to get a nice grade out of log footage. So let's copy the whole thing and let's add some LUTs in. I love working with the film LUTs. So let's start over on this one. I'm going to erase all the nodes, adding in three nodes. Okay. Same setup so far. Dehaze on the second one, same MO. This time though, on the third, let's right click and add a LUT. These LUTs are built into DaVinci. Boom, wow, contrast. All right, so we're gonna have to adjust that out. So raise the shadow on this. Look at that, popping. It's a little blue, so let's add some color and some temperature warming. And that's nice. Now we're gonna add that last one just to make sure that our black level isn't crushed down there, raising it up a little bit. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty crushed. That's what those LUTs do, those film LUTs. But that's nice. That's nice. That looks cool. It's it's really contrasty. But um, you can adjust that out if you don't like it. I think that looks, that looks cool. All right, let's go to this guy in the train staring me down. I was also hanging outside of the train, so he should have stared me down. D. Hayes on the second. Perfect. All right, let's add that film LUT. I think Fuji is going to look cool for this. Yeah, that'll be nice. Look at that. Okay, so now we need to definitely adjust our, our pivot, our contrast again. We're going to lower that down to get his skin tones right in a good spot. Yeah, look at that. Already, instantly. I love these film LUTs they have built in. Now we're going to add another node. Pop the black level down a little bit. Perfect. Look at that. I mean, that's a great start. You really don't need to do much after this, just from fine tuning to match to other shots. Let's try some highlight down. I'm just pulling, give it a little lower key. I like to keep things on 896 there. Yeah. Maybe his skin's a little oversaturated. All right, let's mess with his skin. So I'm going to go on this fourth node here and I'm just going to go to hue versus saturation. Use the eyedropper, select his skin, just pull down the saturation. Boom. Nice. We're going to get into a skin tone video soon. I'll show you how to adjust white balance instantly. It's so easy. All right. The market scene, same thing. Three nodes, D 
dehaze on the second. Boom, looks awesome. Let's go for a LUT, a film LUT. Boom, Kodak, good. More brown tones than the Fuji's more green. I don't know. Open up the temperature, raise the shadows. That's nice. This one's pretty contrasty. I love contrast, you know? I think I like a little too much contrast. Give it a pop, make it feel. That's great. And that's cool. That's what it looked like. India is super hazy, super hazy when we were there. All right. So I love this view. This is Exxon Provence in the south of France. Dehaze on the second. Add that film LUT. Kodak. Look at that pop. You can see the contrast. Let's warm it up. Or let's actually lower the highlights first. Raise the shadows. Warm it up a little bit. Yeah, look at that. These film, film LUTs give a nice look at the end. You're still doing all the same moves we did before. And let's lower the black level a little bit. Ah, that looks just like what it looked like. It is amazing. And look at that 8-bit footage. It looks great. And we did that relatively quick. I mean, if you could do that on footage that quickly, it's great. And, and it's a little bit more advantage than a, a LUT, a straight LUT. Okay, posty. We'll do some dehaze. If I could find this, there it is, the LUT. Film look, let's go with Kodak. All right, so yes, you can see where I underexposed it here. We can look at the histogram, warm it up a bit, raise the levels. All right, perfect. Adjusting everything, I hope you can see this. By now, I think you're gonna have a hang of it. Let's drop the black level. Happy to answer any questions you have in the comments about this, but I think you're gonna understand after I've done it this many times. Yeah. And, you know, maybe some adjustments of the skin tone. So I'm going to get in that in another video, but it looked good. All right. Dehaze on the second. A LUT on the third. Fuji LUT. That's nice. Nice, good look. Let's warm it up. Beautiful. Look at our highlight level. Let's bring that down. Look at that sky. Excellent. Let's bring some shadows up. Ah, it's like you're there. Skin tone's a little funky. We could adjust those later. But yeah, now let's bring the black level down. I think that's in a good spot. This might look a little HDR-y, but you can, you can mess with it later. Or the, the point is where we're at. Let's adjust that sky, though. Let's pull that sky down. You can see some banding in the sky up there. I don't know if you can through YouTube, but I can see it. That's what this 8-bit footage does. So we're going to put a window there and just lower the gamma. And now you should be able to see the banding. Here's the trick for banding that is just a simple one. Take that mid-tone detail and pull it back. Boom. It kind of blurs out the sky and doesn't mess with too much. And yeah, I don't think anybody would ever know. It takes out the cloud detail, but it also takes out the banding. So you look better for that. All right, Marseille. Let's restart with Marseille. Three nodes. Dehaze on the second. Let's add that film LUT. Kodak, perfect. Look at the color. We need to adjust the temperature. All right, nice level there. Raise up some shadows. Boom. It's a nice, the, the film that gave it a nice warmer look. I know I added some warmth. I'll pull it back a little bit, add a little bit of green. Nice. Let's pull the black level down. Okay, still, it's a little dark now. We'll go back to the first node, raise up some shadows. This is what's great. You can just go back and play with these until it looks great. And you have the guide of the, the histogram to the right. All right, here we go. GH5 footage. Dehaze second. LUT on the third. Kodak. And let's raise the temperature. I don't know why the film LUTs make it a little colder. I don't know. Maybe it's just the color tone that they add to it. Adjusting to the look. What I like. Add some shadows. Or subtract some shadows, I mean. Play with the lift. Yeah, it's, it's the same adjustments we made before. The film LUTs add a lot of contrast. So if you're not into contrast, you can always adjust that on the first node and pull it back more. Yeah, that looks nice. Yeah, look at that. That's cool. All right, this one had a little trouble with the uh, polarizer on it. Second node. Third node is that film LUT. 
Look at that color. It's crazy. Let's change that. There we go. Yeah. Perfect. Look at that. That looks golden. That looks what those hills look like. Pulling down the highlights and raising. Actually, let's lower the shadows a little bit. Yeah, that looks nice. You can see that <laughs> gradient across the sky. That's my polarizer. But, you know, live and learn. I'd adjust, definitely do that differently. But we can get that out with a window and uh, just pulling down the levels on that left side of the screen. Okay, pulling down the black level. And yeah, we have a good look here. Could be too saturated for some people. You know, I mean, that's what it is. It's going to look great in the end. All right, so you can see the comparison post before and after. Let's see, the color would definitely need to change on that one. I feel like looking back. But let's see the example of this without with the film. That, yeah, we add more shadows. You can always go back and change things. Yeah, see that one needs a little bit of adjustment, but I think it looks good. So I hope this was helpful to you all. I think it's a fun way to approach footage and it may help you speed your workflow up if you just need to quickly color it to grade it rather than going through a whole process. I know maybe throwing a LUT on is easier, but I think this looks a little better and you have a little more control. So again, let me know what you guys think below and click the subscribe button and the thumbs up and thanks for watching.